take a look at what we have for custom pirate hats. Oh, ho, ho, Emilati, how you be? I'm good. I'm looking for a grand pirate hat. You will come to the right place. As you can see, we have a huge selection of pirate hats that come in different colors, shapes, sizes, different trims, edgings, and feathers. So the first thing I would like to ask of you is, well, first we have to figure out what size you are. So if you are at home and need a hat size, you're gonna get a measuring tape and you're gonna measure around the head just a little, about a half inch above the eyebrow. And then you measure it. And then against the chart, you'll just see where you get sized. We carry from six and seven eighths to seven and three quarters. So based on your measurement, I believe you should wear a size seven. So, yeah, so we want you to bend forward. If the hat falls off, it's too big. But this seems like it's the no, right it's size. Out. Looks good. Okay, the next thing we want to do is figure out what color you want. So you could have a brown hat, black hat, red hat, gray hat, or a palm leaf hat. Which of those do you like? I think I want to go with the red. Red as shall be. So we have got a color and a size. The next thing we want to figure out is the shape. There are eight different shapes. And I found that I'm going to ask you a series of questions to figure out which type you like. There are two major shapes. One is up on one side, cavalier, or up on three sides, a tricorn. Which do you like? I think the one side. Up on one side. Now, there are two options about up on one side. There's the up on the right side, like that, it's called uh, the swashbuckle. And this style is very popular with the ladies. And this one is called the crow's nest, and it is up in the front. And that one's a little bit larger than the size. Uh, this is one of the few hat styles that is strictly only worn by pirates and no one else. So, of these two, which do you like? I think I'll go with this Actually, neither. Oh, like a lady changing her mind. Okay, so. All right, so in terms of tricorns, we have two major styles. We have the landsman, which is low and sleek and many people that may have smaller heads like it because it's got a smaller profile and doesn't exaggerate like the different head size but then the able seaman where it is wider and higher and more of what seamen and pirates wore so of these two styles which do you like? I like the Able Seaman. Okay, the Able Seaman. Now let's go to our next set of questions. What are the hats that these hats made of? These hats are made out of 100% wool felt, just like the hats that are made 300 years ago. Okay, so 
I'm going to show you three different hats, like the able seaman, which we saw before. The back gets folded up. And then there's the gunner's hat, where it's flat in the back. And this one is popular for those that uh, don't like sun in their eyes because they can flip it around and then have a nice big brim in front. And then the last style, called our bosun, and it's rolled in the back. Now, this particular style is made famous by Captain Jack Sparrow. Okay. They are all very interesting. So, on the backs, do you like the folded, the down, or the roll? Mm, I really like this one. I like the Jack Sparrow one. And this one, I can't choose which one should I choose. Okay, but we still have more questions. All right, so here I'm going to show you three more hats that have different points. Okay, so we have the single point of the able seaman, but then we have the rounded uh, sort of triangular shape of the able seaman. And this has got a very unique look to it, and it's popular with me. And then our final hat is uh, the captain's tricorn. And, it, and here, it's always the point goes to the front, all right? So this oh, has man. a double uh, peak in the front. We call it the captain's hat, but these are just names that we gave to them. You don't actually have to be a captain to buy this hat or a first mate to buy the first mate hat. What is the X on the back? Well, okay, so these are talking ribbons and that's what holds the side of the hat up. And so usually there are bars in the front that help put uh, decorations and feathers in. And the back is uh, to mark that you always know where the back is or where your friends know where to aim if they don't like you. So, of these three hats, which hat do you like? Wow. They're all really great. Uh, really hard to decide, again. Which one do you think? Can well. I find that if you're sort of confused about all these different versions of the tricorn hat, the able seaman is actually our most popular and you can't go wrong with that. Well then I'll go with this one. Okay. Tricorn hat. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're gonna make this red hat in this shape. Now, we can have a series of different color ribbons that go onto this hat. And I'm thinking that either maybe the black would be really good. You could possibly do a white or a metallic silver or gold to cock up the hat which is these ribbons right here. Okay. Um, I really like the black. Black on red. Okay. So we call that black cotton ribbon. The next question we're going to decide upon is uh, the decoration. All right. So, you have a number of choices. You can have just a single trim of a whole rainbow of colors, or you could have uh, the hat edging in a rainbow of colors, or you can have a hat edging 
and a trim in different colors or a hat with trim and edging the same color. I, I think I'll go with the hat and trim with the same color. Okay, so sort of like this, except it's going to be red. So you want to have, as you see, we have a whole multitude of colors. Yeah. What color would you like? Um, black. I think we can go with black. Okay, black it is. So let's just put this together and see if you like that combination. So it would be like that. Yeah, I think that looks good. It goes with our football team. Okay. So, black ribbon and black edging with the black uh, uh, cocking ribbon on the red. So the final thing is a feather bundle. So a feather bundle, as you can see over here, and all of these Especially, like, if you were just going with a more simple hat, then maybe no feathers. But once you start getting fancy, having uh, feathers works really well. And we we have a feather bundle that comes with uh, one big long feather, a medium ostrich feather, and then either two pheasants or two peacocks. So. Go over here, and uh, you have a choice of uh, black or white to start with. Uh, black. Okay. And we're gonna pull the red with that, and then I think we'll either give you a choice of two blacks or two red feathers. That. That looks pretty. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I like that one better. Okay. So we'll that it takes about one week for us to make this hat, and then we'll uh, send it to you, or if you wish to come and pick it up, we can. Uh, so we make this uh, hat here, and we sew the trim and edging upstairs in the sewing department. And uh, these hats, uh, you know, as you see, are very unique and they're long last. Do they have a hat lining or a band? Okay, so our hats do not, they come on line because uh, back then, pirates, they always wore a bandana. Yeah. So when they sweat, they sweat in their bandana and they can take it off and wash it. And then you don't have to worry about your sweat soaking into the hat. And that's what the pirates did. Okay. All right? Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure. And so we're going to go.